Hey, what's up? So today we're gonna to learn how to create a look like this, which is a ProMist filter look. ProMist filters are really popular, probably the one eighth black ProMist or maybe the quarter ProMist are the most popular. And I actually recently bought one of these uh, just because I was interested in them and thought maybe, I mean, it might cut out a little bit of work for any sort of videos or shooting that I do. But then I was curious because after I kind of did my own research and I learned what the Promise filter actually does, I basically wondered, can I just make this look on my own in DaVinci Resolve? Because um, what it basically does is it lowers the highlights and it raises the darkest darks or the shadows and it blooms any sort of highlights that might be in the image. So when you combine dropping the highlights, raising the shadows a little bit, that creates that kind of lower contrast look, softer look that it has. And then when you add a glow to the highlights and maybe a little bit of warmth to the highlights, that's basically what the Pro Mist filter does. And then the quarter, the one eighth, and then the higher ones basically determine how much of that kind of soft, misty glow it, it adds. So Resolve does have some tools to recreate these looks. Now, this isn't necessarily meant to create it, you know, a complete perfect replica of what the Pro Mist does because one of the benefits of post-production is that you take this and then you can tweak it and modify it and make it look perfect for your footage and for your project. And in a way, if you do create this look, um, it's kind of like having the one eighth, the quarter and all the other ones. And then you can also tweak the contrast. So let's jump right in and get started. Um, so first off, I did do tests. I won't bore you with all of the details of that, but if you do want to see them, let me know in the comments and I could probably make another video with all the uh, nerdy, geeky, techy stuff. Uh, but here you see two uh, clips and you can see this one has no filter and I kind of added this light here so we can kind of see the glow to it. And then if we jump over to this shot, now these two were shot seconds apart. The light didn't change or anything, but you can see, go full screen, how they change. So here's no filter with the Pro Mist, no filter with the Pro Mist. And like I said, these were shot seconds apart. So it, it almost looks like the light changed a little bit, but what we're seeing is if you then look down here in the scopes, you, what you can see is how it changes. And if you're not an expert on the waveform and have no clue what that thing is telling you, what it's basically showing me is when I jump to this one here, these are highlights up here and here's another highlight here, highlights, highlights, these upper parts here. If I then jump, you can see how much it drops the highlights. It'll then, sh and if you look down at the shadows at the bottom, down here, this area here, you'll see how it's kind of lifting them. And I'll go to full screen actually, and just notice this area here, the shadows, how they kind of change. No filter, they kind of, the shadows come up. Is where you kind of really notice it. And then basically just the image overall, you can see how it brings down the highlights a little bit no filter and then a little bit darker. And then on top of all this, you can see, especially in the light here, this kind of warm glow around the light. See, I'm just kind of looking at the light, the warm glow. And so it's the combination of those three items, the raised contrast or the raised shadows, the lowered highlight and the blooming or glowing effect of any sort of stronger highlights um, that kind of helps create that promise look and then you can modify it. So let's jump right in. I'm going to use this shot here as an example. And so what you basically want to do is create a node. And then what I would do a couple tools here that I would use is the first one I would use low soft. So this kind of creates a soft roll off of the shadows or the blacks in the image. And the reason that you want to do this is because you don't want to have, you know, part of the Promis filter is that it has a kind of very natural, organic uh, roll off of the highlights and the shadows that creates that kind of soft, 
uh, look that it has. So that's why you do wanna use the low soft here and we're gonna eventually use the high soft. These two tools just kinda create that. So I'm gonna raise this just so you can really see it. Let's say we do that much and before, after, before, after, you can see how much it raised them. And I, you know, I'm definitely exaggerating it a little bit just so you can really see it. And then I'm gonna go with high soft. I'm gonna do a combination of high soft and pay attention to what it does up here. That's part of being a colorist. You're constantly viewing the scopes and viewing the image. So I'm going to do the roll off of the highlights. Okay, and there we go. And I'm just gonna undo that so you can see before, after, before, after. Pay attention up here. This is before, after, before, after. See how it's bringing down those brighter areas. There we go. And so now if I just combine both of these here, this is before, after, before, promise look, before, promise look. But then on top of that, I'm going to then go into highlights here and this actually dropped it quite a bit, but another thing you can do is go here, but then also right here where it says highlights. You can also drop that down a touch. You can do a combination maybe of this, which drops, you can see it has a heavier hand on the highlights. So you can either do this just a little bit, again, just customizing your look and then Maybe I'll do this here. And then here we go again. Before, after, before, after. You can see that look it's creating. And if I jump to these, you can see it does a similar effect where, I mean, it's obviously more aggressive the way I'm doing it, but here we go before, after, lowering that contrast. Before, after, there we go, and then so that's the initial look here. And maybe I'll go here and just name this node and call this contrast. And then I'm gonna make an additional node. And then this one here, I believe does require the full version of Resolve. And it's a um, OFX filter called Glow. So I can grab that and then drop it. It's pretty heavy handed there. But then we can go under the Glow image here and turn it off completely. And then just kind of dial it in however we want. Yeah, and then another thing you can do too, is, I mean, you can go through here and just mess with the settings. You can mess with the glow, the spread of the glow and all of these different tools. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna really mess with all this right now, but just so you know, you can really tweak it a little bit. And then here I can even go in and maybe do what the promise does, adds a little bit of warmth to those highlights. So I'll just kind of push it up here and show you how much it's actually adding. I'm gonna maybe just warm them up a little bit. Okay, and then like that, turn that off. And if I select these two, full screen, this is the before, and then this is the after with the glow added, before, after, before, after, there we go. And then as an added bonus, let's see what happens if I select this, go to the no filter one, paste it, Add an additional node, go to the glow, command C to copy, go here, go to the second one, I add the glow. And this probably needs more glow, so I'm actually going to, that's obviously too much. I'm gonna reset this. So I'm gonna maybe reset that here, not as much yellow. Boom. And that's just basically me, I'm not saying you should copy these over to all the clips, but just a quick copy so you can see how it changes it. This is the no filter shot. And then this is with the promise look. And if we compare it to this one, here's another cool tool, by the way, if you wanna compare clips and resolve, here's the two shots. One on the left is the one that I just applied the promise look to before. And there's the one on the right. You can see how it kind of creates that look very easily and that was just a quick you know drag and drop of that filter i could easily go in here and tweak this add a little bit more warmth and red which is what this has 
But if you look at the shadows, what I did here, this is the one with the actual filter. You look at these shadows, in a way I kind of like my shadows better. There we go, no filter. And then with my ProMist replica here in DaVinci Resolve. There you go. Okay, so that's the video. I hope that you definitely got something out of that. You can see in the before afters, especially in the ones, uh, the shots of me where I applied my own uh, ProMist look to it, um, what an effect it can have. And if anything, like I said before, a big perk of that is that you can tweak it and customize it and not necessarily just have to settle with slapping the filter on there and, and just letting it do what it does. I have mine, I'm actually using it right now on this shot and I'll probably keep using it um, because sometimes it is easy to apply the filter, you like the look, you don't wanna mess with anything, but should you want to have that look in any of your videos and you know tweak it to be like the quarter, the one eighth or anything else, you can definitely do that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.